What's up guys, hey Anthony here at In Gear. Today we're back in Ventura, favorite place, love it. We are here with the Eagle One Pro, which is insane, you guys. This is not just some random little scooter. This is the most powerful scooter I have ever ridden, uh, even more powerful than the one previously. So let's dive into it and see what this baby's got to offer. All right, this bike is so brand new that I still got the plastic on. Awesome. <laughs> I was wondering why I was getting this glare. You guys, this thing is a beefcake. This thing weighs 90 pounds. Uh, this is not the most travel friendly scooter, but it is definitely the most beefiest scooter we've ever ridden. Uh, one of the cool, unique features is it has this NFC to turn on, so it doesn't come with a key, which, one second. All right, so see this little tile thing? This is like um, a little NFC. It's basically keyless. So in order to turn it on, you have to use this little tile and then it turns on. But if I turn it off and I don't have the tile around, you can't actually turn the scooter on. It just won't start. So this is a pretty cool idea. This is the only uh, electric vehicle in personal travel that I've seen use this, uh, which I think is pretty awesome. It comes with two, which is a big deal because if you lose one, I honestly didn't know and I almost cut this off when we were unboxing this. So I'm super glad that uh, they made it really unique. It's a really heavy duty tile. It's not, uh, it's not super flimsy, uh, so make sure it stays on your keys because this thing is great. Good one, throw them. All right, so when it comes to the display, it's pretty simple as far as the controls, but the display itself is nice, it's color, it's big. It has multiple, it still says pedal assist on it, but basically it has several different modes. You can bring it all the way up to three. It's a thumb throttle, and man, when you're on three and you hit the throttle, ugh, this thing cooks. All right, this guy has dual suspension. As you can see here, it has these dual springs, watch, I'm gonna get on it. You'll see how bouncy this thing is. Watch, put the kickstand up so you can see. Look at that. It's like a pogo stick, dual suspension, dual hydraulic disc brakes, um, which is awesome. The brakes are reversed, so the right hand is the back brake, the left one is the front, so don't get those confused. If you start going fast and you wanna you know, skid around, you'll top over like I did in one of the previous videos if you hadn't seen that. So, this thing is 90 pounds, but it is really beefy when it comes to unfolding it. So it comes with this little cotter pin with a little pink strap. I think that was meant to be red, but maybe it was sun bleached. But you crank this out and then you can put that down. So it really locks into place. So it's nice that this isn't, um, this isn't easily gonna get knocked out of place. In fact, I don't think it's gonna ever get knocked out of place. It is on there solid. Coolest part about this is that it has two thousand watt motors which is insane that's more wattage than any of our e-bikes there's not one e-bike that we own that has dual thousand watt motors these things are insane the uphill climb butter it says 35 degrees at the rate it can climb and uh, that's really what it is now right out of the box it comes with a single charger however you can add an additional charger which will cut the charging time down to half it has two charging ports on the side uh, which is awesome because if you're gonna plug this bad boy in, it's a 60 uh, volt battery, uh, 27 amp hour. So this thing is huge. Uh, it takes eight hours to charge. But if you bring the second charger, then it cuts it down in half. So you can charge this bad boy back up to full capacity, which will get you 45 miles of range, which is a lot for this thing, especially if you're doing the 35 degree uphill climb. So, uh, all right, so the foot pad right here is silicone. It's really grippy. And I like how they added this little grip in the back. So that way when you're riding, you can place a foot back here and really lean into it. And then when you're going downhill, you can really get back. So your foot's not gonna slip off. So the silicone top is awesome. The prior models had kind of this graphite texture, which is cool, but I feel like my feet really stick to the rubber ones that they've done. So that was a win. As you can see, these tires are massively beefy and you can feel it when you're really going off-road. Uh, there are 11 inch tubeless tires. Uh, and if we head towards the back, the lighting system is really cool because the lights are brake activated. So as soon as you hit on the brakes, the tail light activates. Uh, the front headlights bright, so that is a win for this scooter, absolutely. All right, so if you're looking to get a scooter that goes 45 miles per hour, this is the one for you. Stay safe. If you're looking to get this, you can click the link below. Coming in at $2,099, this is definitely a win. So stay tuned as we're going to compare it to one of its other smaller brothers, younger brothers. I don't know. Stay tuned. All right, it has du dual. <laughs> it has. <laughs> oh, sorry.